So today we're going to be talking about ether cleavage. Okay, so we're going to look at two different types of ethers. We're going to talk about symmetrical and unsymmetrical ethers. So an example of a symmetrical ether would be something that looks like this. Okay, so ether cleavages are done under acidic conditions. Okay, so an example of a acid is HX. When it's exposed, one side will get an OH that's added to it and the other side would get an X. So if it's symmetrical, it doesn't really matter which side you write them as because it's going to be symmetrical. So when you do the cleavage, one, of, one side will get the alcohol and one will get the halogen on it. Okay. So uh, symmetrical ones, it doesn't really matter which side you draw it on because it's the same thing. Now if I was to have an unsymmetrical one, so let's pick something um, like that. Okay, so you can see we've got the oxygen here, so one of the sides has just got a methyl and the other one's got a fairly large bulky group there. If I expose that to HX, I write it above the arrow this time because it means the same thing. And I need to work out now which side will get that OH and which side will get the halogen. Now the side that will get the OH will be the larger, bulkier side. So if you put your hand over it and you look at that side, it's a lot larger and bulkier than just your CH3 group. So that'll be the side that gets the OH and the halogen will just go on the smaller of the two sides. Let's see if I can copy this out right. There we go. And then it'll be just uh, X and I'll write CH3 for E there. Okay, so that's your symmetrical and your unsymmetrical ether cleavages. Mm -hmm.